everybody, how you doing? My name is Dave Nassi, and I am here today for our first Lick of the Week installment that we're going to be bringing you here with Amps and Axes. I am very excited to be a part of this. I first met these gentlemen about a few weeks ago and uh, did an interview for the program, and very excited. We're going to do this once a week. We're going to provide you with tabs. We're going to cover lots of different styles. We're going to keep it nice and easy. So uh, let's go ahead and dig right in. We're going to zoom in and take a look at the lick that I played at the top of the video. Again, my name is Dave Nassi. Hold on to your hats and glasses, people. Let's have a good time. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and take a look here at that lick in question. Really, really fun phrase to play. I'll play it one more time. Played in the fifth position, we're going to combine some forms of the pentatonic scale, and we're going to use a little bit of hybrid picking with our right hand. So let's outline those scale shapes first. We're going to lose, use a little bit of that blue scale. Easier to play than say. And we're going to use some of that A major pentatonic as well. So all three of these scales are going to come together with some of this hybrid picking motion. Now, hybrid picking is the usage of the fingers on the right hand in this case. I'm going to use a little bit of my middle finger. And you know what? I think I'll just start off with a really cool pattern that you can practice and then we'll gear up for this lick that we're doing here. And it'll just kind of get you used to using those uh, fingers on the right hand, or this one finger on the right hand in this particular case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a downstroke motion on my fourth string, on my G, and I'm going to hammer up to A. But I'm going to pluck my C. And I'm going to get used to that. I'm going to palm mute it a little bit for control. I'm going to stay right on top of that and get used to bringing in that right hand. Now I can go and I can go back to that note there and roll it down and pluck that G note, or the G string rather, I'm sorry, this is a D note, with my right hand. And so far, slowly, you can see I'm going back to a pick and I'll pluck that one and hammer on from C to D. So essentially, you're playing this phrase, and everything that happens on the G string is a plucked motion with the right hand. That's a really cool thing to play, and you can play that throughout the pentatonic scale. And you just kind of get used to using that right hand a little bit. And it's going to make this lick a lot easier once we get kind of used to doing some of those kind of motions. So you could practice that individually and get used to that and then we'll go ahead and try this lick here that we're going to do. So just a couple uh, ways to warm ourselves up and get kind of geared up for this. So we're going to start with plucking the high A note. We're going to pick with a downstroke and go from G to E. We're going to pick this D, and then we're going to come back to a plucked E note. That's really, really fun to play, and you get that right away. Nice little snap in there. I can go to the blues note, my flat five. I'm going to pick this guy with a downstroke. I'm going to pick this D with an upstroke, and I'm going to pull off the C. And when I put that with the rest, I've got that little feel there. going back to that rolling motion with our third finger there. That's a nice lick in itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to, after I play that, I'm going to pull off from an A to a G. That's going to be a pick to start, down, and then I'm going to pluck that note. I'm going to carry myself down slide and repeat. And when we put all that together, you can put a really good spin on that lick and get some pace in there. I'll play that slow. Now you can combine all these things together. It's a great uh, lick to play in any pentatonic position. You can play it anywhere that scale will, will uh, suit your fancy. And it's really, really cool stylistically. Obviously the way that I'm doing it, it has a bit more of a country feel, but it works good with distortion, works good 
and any musical situation that you deem necessary. So I'll play it one more time. Again, we had our practice phrase. And that, everybody, is your lick of the week. Thank you, Amps and Axes, and I will see you next time.